I've turned RuneScape into a roguelike, and I'm locking myself into RuneScape's regions randomly for 24 hours at a time. In those 24 hours, I progress my account, bank, skills, and quests as far as possible, and then I take on the hardest PVM content in that area. If I fail the PVM challenge, I wipe my entire account, dropping everything I have ever accumulated. But if I succeed, I permanently unlock the ability to save one item if I wipe in the future. What's the goal? If I manage to successfully complete all 10 regions in a row, I'll immediately gear up and challenge Zook the hardest PVM content in the game. If I win, the series is over, but if I fail, I wipe and start all over again. Can it be done? Let's find out. What is up all you beautiful people and welcome to another episode of the Roguelike RS Adventure. And boy oh boy is this episode packed full of goodness. So if you end up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification icon on. And if you want to support the channel further, I do have channel memberships option open and available. And now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into that recap. Alrighty, so last episode we ended up rolling into Mistelin, which gave us one of three bosses, Obor, Barofida, or good old Scurrius. And before I figured out which one of those I was going to do, I went ahead and completed all of the quest steps and quests that we had left in the region to do. Which honestly was quite a lot of them. I knew when I came into this region I wanted to heavily focus on construction. So I did just that. Did some wood cutting and some fletching to get some money for construction. Bought myself a dragon dagger from Xanaris. And also completed another easy clue. I went ahead and prepped for Bryophyta and actually had 13 giant keys. So I started killing Obor to see if I could actually get any good loot to help with construction. And then I rolled the boss, and we ended up rolling Obor, and we took him down with no issue at all. And then we rolled into our next region, which is Zaya. And here we are completing the client of Kran. We're gonna get two lamps worth 500 experience each. Of course, those bad boys are going on Herbalore since it is the most difficult skill for us to train. And I'm going to go ahead and start the quest right up here, the Queen of Thieves, since we are so close to this area. I lied, we're not doing the Queen of Thieves. I need stew and, and uh, I can get that over at one of these other places. So I went ahead and did the Forsaken Tower. We now have some memoir pages. I can go ahead and add it to here. And I'm going to continue doing some of the other quests. And here we are completing another quest, the Ascent of Arceus. Absolutely beautiful. We get some Hunter and some Runecrafting experience. I don't think enough to get any levels we shall see. Nope, we did not. But that is another quest now. And here we are finishing off the Tale of Righteous. Another beautiful quest down in this region. 8,000 coins. Love to see that. I'm going to continue doing the rest of these quests. It's time to pick up a rune axe. Oh boy. How much is it? Oh, it's only 41k. I have so much money. Boom. Now I don't have to worry about using a mithril axe. I'm also going to go ahead and do the step four Bon Voyage while I'm here. And continue doing the Depths of Despair quest. Finishing up another quest here, still under two hours. That is the Depths of Despair. Some agility experience, so very nice, but what I do like is all these memoirs that I can add so that I can teleport around here later without the necklace, the talisman. It is very difficult. This is a large landmass, so I am finding myself running around a lot and walking. Hey, there we are. That is the last quest done for all of the house stuff. And I also, like, kind of just realized they got rid of the favor. I guess they did that when uh, that new Zaya quest came out. I can't even remember it off the top of my head. But I am very excited because one of the quests that we actually can do is going to give us 10,000 farming experience. It's basically going to double the amount of experience that we have. And I think that might be enough for us to get into tithe farming. So if I can actually manage to do that, I might focus on some farming this region as well. Hey, there we are with another quest completed, getting ahead. Pretty nice, 4,000 crafting experience, 3,200 construction experience, and some more cash. It's like 
I didn't even have to buy my rune axe. I've got one quest left this region, and that bad boy is the Garden of Death. That is the one that gives the 10,000 farming experience. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I have never done this quest before, but I think all I have to do is read the warning note, and that should be the quest completed. There we are. Oh my gosh. 10,000 farming experience. I actually like this quest. It was really neat. I feel there could be more to find. Perhaps I should continue exploring. Cool. All right. Sounds good. I don't really know what that means. Oh my gosh. Yes! 34 farming. We can now actually do tithe farming man don't you just love when a plan just absolutely comes together so that is all the quests that i can do in this region and we've got a whopping 21 and a half hours left so i don't know what i'm gonna do right now but i'm gonna figure it out probably do some uh herb planting that way i can continue training some herb lore and going on from there Alrighty, we are finishing up fletching for the time being. I wanted to go ahead and just get two levels. That is 62. I have accumulated 1300 willow longbows unstrung. I'm going to be world hopping, selling 10 at a time. We already were at 90-ish K in cash, so we're definitely going to be getting above 42,000 cash in addition. So that is going to be really nice. And then I'm going to come right back here and start cutting some oak logs so I can continue the good old construction grind. Alrighty, here we are finishing up the willow longbow selling. So I guess there is an increased value in stuff that you sell to the uh, general stores, I guess, of the good old regions that you complete the quests in because it was giving me higher than what a normal... A store would typically give so we actually ended up getting 63k from that 159k cash that is definitely going to be enough for the amount of construction that i want to do i'm going to go ahead and do the math and figure out exactly how much it's going to be and then i have a lot of insult heads that i also want to get done while we are in this region so let's just go ahead and see how many i have 60 giant heads and 80 chaos druid heads I believe that I can actually use these, but I'm going to double check just to make sure. Hey, there we are with 56 prayer. I'll definitely be getting a, another prayer level. I had a lot of insult heads, and that is 80 combat. Honestly, love to see that. I've got a whole nother load to do, and then I'll finally be done. But we are going to accumulate over 44,000 prayer experience, which is super nice because I completely forgot that I had that in the bank. And there we are, the last prayer level we'll be getting from these insult heads. That is 57, and I'm going to be honest, it feels so nice to get two prayer levels in this region when I was not expecting it. After I'm done here, I'm going to go back to the woodcutting guild. It was pretty expensive to buy those soul runes, so kind of glad that we were able to get some extra cash from selling the willow longs unstrung. That is very nice. So I'm going to return back get some oak planks do the math and figure out what exactly i can get to so this is really nice i actually was able to just move my house over to hasidius so i don't have to waste any law runes and there we are with 45 construction we go ahead and adjust the timer here we can now build a chapel which is super super nice i definitely plan on building a chapel if i can get over to fremenic uh because i don't think that i can actually build anything without uh, let's see check the materials. Oh, okay. I, so I just need planks. All right, cool I definitely plan on building that then I'm gonna have to get some more cash in this region But I think I'm gonna get one or maybe two more construction levels with the planks that we have There we are with the 68 wood cutting. We are almost done fletching. I did just want to get one more level for the cash because I knew we would end up having enough that's probably going to be the last wood cutting level we get in this region. We are about nine and a half hours in. I do want to work on getting 64 thieving because I can put full Zerishian robes in my house. Now that I have the wardrobe built in there as well since I'm 46 construction. So I would love to put a full magic set in my house. That would be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to work on that goal. Probably just going to thief for master farmers, get more seeds. 
try and build up some herbs and train a little bit more of herb lore in this region. There we are with 64 thieving. So, so nice. I'm honestly so excited to get that Zerishian robe set in the house. And I was able to finish off selling the Willow Longbows Unstrung, so I have enough cash. I'm going to go ahead, build that chapel, and I'm going to use the rest of the big bones that we have in the bank over on our altar. Alrighty, here we are building our altar. That honestly is so, so nice. And now I just get to sit here and uh, AFK train some prayer, even though it's the same amount of experience. At least I don't have to individually click each bone anymore, so that's pretty nice. I honestly forgot how great thieving experience of this was. That completes our full Zerishian robe set. I'm so, so excited that we can actually store that in the house. For me, this is like 120,000 experience an hour, which is absolutely insane. It's very, very good. I'm going to chill here for a little bit longer, maybe just get up to 65 theming, and then I'm going to start some tithe farming. And there we are with 65 thieving. Very, very nice. We are done Thieving here, I did end up with three full sets of Zerishian. I have no idea if I can store all of them in the house, but I'm definitely going to try. I have some stuff to sell to the general store. The lizard man fangs are not are are pretty worthless. But the seeds will not be. Another level closer to my goal of 38 herbal or there is 34. I have been pretty ahead in regards of time versus days left, so I kind of have been just logging in every 90 minutes to do my herb run uh, so that has really helped with my ability in snagging a lot of herbs that i'll be able to use in this region and hopefully get really close to that 38 herb lore just got done with the easy kevos and lowland diary this lamp <laughs> Will definitely help with the herb lore. That is 2,500 experience. It's definitely going to be a level all the way up to 35. Very nice. And we got a Rada's Blessing. Well, I honestly plan on doing some tithe farming, but because I've been so ahead last week with playtime, I really have been able just to focus on this one allotment patch, logging in every 80 minutes over the past three days. And that uh, has just led us to 40 farming without doing any tithe. We are up to 36 Herblore, and I'm going to be honest, I think I actually might get 38, which is so massive for the account, because that allows us to make prayer potions. I'm very excited. I do kind of just want to finish off these Marantil seeds. I am going to be playing, uh, because I do like to do at least two to three hours a day, so that I'm ahead of schedule when it comes to editing. So, I actually think I'm going to head back over to the Woodcutting Guild. And I wasn't planning on getting 65 Fletching in this region for the U Shorpo, but it kind of just makes sense now with how much progress I've made with farming and herb lore, kind of passively. So I really would like to get that U Shorpo, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. 70 woodcutting was not on my list of things that I thought I'd be getting in this region, but we are so, so, so close to that 65 Fletching. I have enough herbs in the bank to get 38 prayer, and I can pick up snape grass in this region, so you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be unlocking prayer pots. And I want to use this time to talk about the bosses that we have in this region at the moment for what I can actually do. I have Sarachnus, Chambers of Zarek, and Winter Tot. I do need to get 50 fire making for Winter Tot, so that if I roll it, I just don't auto-fail. Now, Skatizo is a boss that we can do in this region. However, since he requires three separate 1 in 350 drops, he honestly kind of feels like a bonus boss that I have access to if I manage to actually get a totem. So for that reason, he won't actually be showing up on the list of boss we can roll because I don't think it's really fair to have to grind that much out. It just feels like I would be spending all of the time in the region down in the catacombs and that's not fun for you and it's certainly not fun for me so we'll be having those three bosses to roll i'm gonna roll it probably in about an hour and a half just to see what i end up rolling oh man i really didn't think i was gonna get all this done in this region this is so 
So amazing. There we are, 65 fletching. I can now make a U short bow. There's flex here. I can spin it into a bowstring. Oh my gosh. I have willow long bows unstrung to sell. I have 50 fire making to get. I already got my U log. Very good. And let's see. Herb run isn't done for another 20 minutes. So I guess I'm just going to continue to cut logs here. Figure out how much I need for 50 fire making. And then go make this a bad boy. I didn't even realize that I had bowstring with me. Let's go ahead and make it. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. What an upgrade. Let's just compare to the maple short bows. This is a plus 29. This has a plus 47. Oh my gosh, that feels so, so nice. And now it's time to work on that 50 fire making. Oh, this is so, so massive for the account. Getting this 38 herbore and i have 22 ranars in the bank i already have all the snape grass can now make prayer potions and you bet i'm gonna be making those right now absolutely monumental honestly like being able to have access to prayer potions is really going to change our ability to compete boss wise in a lot of areas so this is super nice and i'll definitely be getting another herb lore level i've got four ranar seeds one currently planted so i'll definitely be making some more prayer potions and here we are with a 50 fire making that way in case we roll winter tot i just don't auto fail actually be able to do it and of course if we do roll winter tot i will be doing that solo Okay, we are 20 hours in. We've got about four hours left. So let's go ahead and switch over to the chunk roller where we can go ahead and see which bosses we actually have access to. So, of course, we have raids. Boom, right there, number one. We have Winter Tot, number two. And we have Sarachnus, number three. Let's just go ahead and roll. Obviously, if we get raids, <laughs> well... We're not completing that, so I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff with my money, hopefully. Let's go ahead and see what we end up getting here. <laughs> oh, well, we got raids! <laughs> oh, that's going to be so funny. Okay, well, I will definitely give it my good old college try. Uh, but that... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, our uh, run had to come to an end at some point. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Because we, we really did well. I mean, we, we hit Temporos, and then we got Barrows, and then we got Obor, and we finally got a boss that is not going to be too kind to us. Oh well, you know what? It is what it is. I've got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> now that I know that uh, Raids is our boss. And this should be the last farming level that we end up getting in this region. All the way up to 42 is kind of insane because when we came in here, I think I was like 27. So the fact that I've gotten this many levels off of this one patch and that one quest is really, really nice. Well, honestly, this was a level I did not think I was going to be getting. But there we are with 50 construction. We can now build the portal chamber Although I don't have any more cash, I've got about 13k left, and I've got one more inventory of planks so that is going to be the last level that we end up getting. And then I'm going to see if there's anything else in this region that I need to do within these last 30 minutes, and then it's off to raids with my brother. Alright, I've got a lot of stuff here that I'm going to try selling. I think I might be able to get to 100k. I'm obviously going to sell the runes at a different location, even the rune scimitar. I don't see myself passing this region, so I really just want to try and get that portal chamber, and I think honestly that I might be able to get, oh, we're 100% going to be able to get there. That's going to be, like, really, really massive for the account, just even if I can just get the chamber at the end of this region, that's going to be super, super nice. We're going to save ourselves 100k in a different region. Goodbye, Rune Scimitar. You did so much for us, but we have the Dragon Dagger, and the DPS difference between those two is very negligible, so 
I'm going to continue scouring through my bank. We're already up to 46k. I have these runes. I definitely think I'll be able to do this. Well, I wasn't planning on getting a crafting level at the end of this region, but there we go. I had some uncut gems in the bank, and I know that they sell more in-store if they're cut, so might as well get that free experience before I sell these off. Here's a little fun fact for you. Did you know that shops only buy a loop half of keys for 40 coins? Because uh, I didn't, but we're going to sell them anyway because I can't do anything with them. Uh, I 100% will be able to get there with the runes, so I'm just going to world hop one more time, sell the rest of these gems, then go up to the rune shop and sell these bad boys off and hit my 100k. Oh, alrighty, here we are with 100k cash. Oh, it's going to feel so nice. Buying this portal room. I don't think I can actually build a focus. I'm gonna see if I can actually like mine limestone here And I'm gonna check this guy real quick. I don't think I can buy law runes here I cannot yeah, so we're not gonna be able to build anything especially since I can't make any teak planks here But it is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna see if I can at least make the portal focus Alrighty, it is time and I don't want to build it directly off here because well as soon as you build it ends so <laughs> I'm gonna build it right here. Oh my gosh. Boom! 100k! I am so thankful to have this room in here. That is really nice. And the amount of construction gains that we had in this region. Pretty wild. Over the past two regions, to be completely honest with you, that is really nice. I'm gonna go set up for raids. And, uh... <laughs> See how far I can actually get with my brother in there before I die twice. <laughs> well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be my raid gear. You know, honestly, it's not too scuffed. Uh, we're looking super fine. We got the Rune Defender, the Dragon Dagger. I got some Mithril Bolts for my Mithril Crossbow that I still have because I think it's probably going to be better than the uh, U Short Bow. And, um, I've got some death runes, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. My brother isn't available right now, but I'm actually really excited to try this. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to enter the raid. My brother has found a good world that uh, he thinks we have a slight chance. <laughs> so, we're in. Uh, the unfortunate part for me is that I literally can make no potions for this, so... Uh, it is what it is. We're going to have fun. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. So, okay. All right. So we're, we're getting, we're getting the tree first and then we're killing them. Are you ready? All right. I'm going in. I have a rune. I have a, I have a, I, oh! Magic. I thought it was just range. Oh my God. I've been fucked. What is this? Why is he hitting me? Bro, I, I'm already going to take more damage than what I thought. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to die. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'll just start attacking the muter dial. <laughs> F it. <laughs> I'm already through half my food. Oh my god! Oh, you got the tree. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Don't worry. Don't worry. Alright. Oh, you're tanking both of them. What a legend. Oh. Oh my god. Bro. I, this is it for food for me, by the way. <laughs> no! I, how am I gonna make more food? <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't do anything in here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I died. Okay, there's the first death. All right. Don't worry. Is this is this is a this is a bank storage, right? Like I can't actually withdraw anything. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right, I'm coming back in. Okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should put on my really... Oh, the, oh my god, the scavenger just fucking slapped me for a 12. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna sit right here. And I'm gonna unequip... 
my uh, rune defender. What am I getting slapped with? I have no food left. Oh, that's okay. Well, <laughs> well, I gave myself the stipulation of dying twice, so we have failed. <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't have given myself ninety. Mi I think I was overzealous. <laughs> In my in my ability to uh, <laughs> to get as far as what I thought I could. Okay. Did we kill? Did we kill the? We kill? Oh, we didn't even kill it. Okay. Well. No, that's I. You can do what you want. I'm leaving <laughs> because I failed. So I can't. I can't do anything else. <laughs> I have to drop them anyway. I only used 29 of them, so it's not like I fired that many. <laughs> no, I, I can't because they're stackable items, so I can't save them. So it's a one for one if I choose to save it. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. I know. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that uh, was the raid attempt. Chambers is Eric. I think we lasted, what, five minutes in there, Dustin? Was that it? Five? S I th well, to be honest, we did a lot of talking before we walked into that room, so we really didn't last that long. <laughs> Six minutes? Oh, okay. All right. So we last. I lasted about five minutes before I died, so that was good. Um, yeah. So now I'm just gonna start dropping everything, and uh, I've got about an hour and ten minutes to kill in this zone and do whatever I keep I don't I don't even know I don't even know what I'm gonna do so uh, I guess I'm gonna roll my region now uh, well <laughs> the only upside of I guess knowing I'm failing and failing and literally just dropping everything from the bank is that I sold a bunch of stuff I've got 172k I've got an hour left in this region so I'm just honestly gonna world hop and buy feathers since one of the items I'm going to be keeping is the tackle box and fishing and fletching are going to be very important on this account. So I would like to get both of them leveled up. So I'm going to be buying as many feathers as I can with this cash. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had fun watching that raids attempt. Honestly, I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I was laughing the whole time. So... I already went ahead and cleared out my bank, and with the cash, these are the four items that I'm deciding to keep. The Tackle Box, the Rune Pickaxe, the Dragon Dagger, and the Rune Defender. With all that cash, I was able to buy almost 53,000 feathers, which is super, super nice. So that is going to be really useful. Stuff like the Rune Pouch, the Herb Sack, the Tackle Box... Those items are actually going to be so crucial for the account because we typically can't keep stackable items. So the theory crafting behind like getting those items as soon as possible is actually going to be really massive for the account. The rest of the stuff in the bank here is just quest stuff. So I honestly am not going to use any of these outside of the quests that they are associated with. And then for the progress that we made on this account... When we came in, we had completed 46 quests. We're leaving this area with 54 completed. That is a net gain of 8 quests completed. We also came in at 85 quest points. We are leaving with 93, which is also a net gain of 8 quest points. When we came in total level-wise, we were at 1,158. We're leaving at 1,212. And then we also came in at 4,729,000 experience. And we're leaving essentially at 5,600,000 experience, which is a net gain of 869k. That is so incredibly nice for the accounts. And now it's time to roll the next region. So since we failed this region, of course, we now have all the regions added here. And I have added 
Vagamore as its own region. There's a lot to do here. I do justify the fact that it actually just is like a completely separate area from Zaya. So we are going to put it on the roll table. So let's go ahead and pick a chunk and see which one we end up getting. I honestly don't really have a preference uh, outside of hopefully not the wilderness. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be heading over to a new region. I am actually like really excited. I have not went over here at all. I really have a lot of prep work to do for this. So that is going to be a wild, wild time. Like, honestly, I just was <laughs> the fact that we just put it on the table and we rolled it is pretty cool i am really glad i kept my pick and i'm glad i got my hunter level up maybe i can bare hand some stuff here i, I really don't know what's here uh it looks like there's some fishing spots so that's gonna be nice might be able to focus on that for a little bit and yeah i'm very very excited for this so of course that leaves us at the end of the episode Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I had so much fun making this episode. And of course, I want to give a special shout out to the channel members. At the third age tier, we have Sir Otterman. At the crystal tier, we have Tom. And at the master tier, we have Father Duo and Liz Lemon. And we have a brand new channel member, Lane B. Thank you so much for joining. I truly, truly appreciate it. I really wish YouTube had like an area where I could reach out to channel members and thank them whenever they become a member. I'm kind of shocked that isn't a feature yet. Maybe it's something that I'll provide in the feedback because I, I do provide like bi-weekly feedback for them whenever they ask for it. But thank you guys so, so much for supporting and for the rest of you. Thank you all so much for the support that you have given me. And I can't wait to bring you all the next episode. Have a great one, everyone. And I will see all you beautiful people in two weeks.